Good morning, everybody. Uh, Jakey Crack Outdoors here, and uh, going to do our daily check on our beaver traps. <coughs> uh, I think this is part eight. Um, was a little disappointed yesterday. I really expected something, but um, today I really don't. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> little, uh, little psycho, uh, little little mind tricks here. I'm playing on myself, but needless to say, it's a it's a beautiful day. Uh, I'm looking forward to today. Uh, I'm gonna do a hike, which I don't think will be on this video, but uh, it'll probably be on tomorrow's. Uh, I try to start my upload earlier than, so usually a lot of what you see today is the checking of the traps today and whatever I got into yesterday afternoon. So stay tuned and uh, I'll get back to you. What's up everybody? So I figured I'd cut you on a little early today. Um, just about at the ponds, but it's Thursday, March 26th, 2020. And uh, today makes eight days up camp. Uh, my longest ever stay up camp was 17 days straight. Uh, I did that two trapping seasons ago from Christmas on. Uh, the way work allowed is uh, I was actually working at that time which I usually don't work through the winter but uh, the job I was on got shut down for a week between Christmas so I added a vacation week to that and then the way the holidays fell I got 17 days off in a row so I came up here to run traps that, for that whole time um, <coughs> but during that stay I stayed half uh, some days at my camper and then I stayed some other days at my buddy's camp which was a lot better living than my camper uh, this water is amazing it's so clear nothing in that 330 that caster mine looks empty Nothing, nothing. Zero for two. But can't get mad. It's too beautiful of a day. It's going to go up in the lower 60s today. It's already getting quite warm. Nothing. And nothing. So this is that run that I got that 330 on right here. And uh, I'm just wondering if I should be out of here a little further. But man, is it soft. Yeah, it's a little too soft for me to be walking out there. And, um, I've seen some advice about possibly moving my sets to the other side of the pond. And uh, that is an option. Uh, but truth be told is uh, I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy.
Got a little guide stick there on that set. Peepers are back out. I actually set this spot up here. I put the I put some uh, fencing in already for 3:30. So that'll probably be my next move here. Just put a 3:30 there. I'm just amazed how clear this water is. I mean, I don't know if you could see this. I'm up just about to my my waist. Uh, my balls. I just didn't want to say it. My balls. I'm almost at my balls. There it's said. But um, Thing about this clear water is just uh you just don't know when you're gonna go a little too deep and i want to walk out here along this dam a little bit and inspect it up a little bit Alright, I think I'm as far as I'm willing to go because I don't see the bottom in front of me and this dam is just, a, I don't want to blow the dam out or get stuck in the dam. Um, it looks like they're going up over there too, so but I think that's going to be shallow water in that cove. But I see some trees, tr some sign out there. And right here, I said it before. This usually isn't flooded up. They brought this stream way up higher than it usually is. And uh, that's where I caught my beaver and my otter in the past was, there was usually a, just a little channel that ran through there. And uh, it was muddy to get out to, but once you got out there, there was a definite channel and it was a, I called it a slam dunk set because it was, uh, they had the no choice but to go through your trap. And, uh, but, I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the camp and I'm gonna pack up my, my hiking stuff and uh, get the dog ready and we're gonna go do a little hike. Um, what you're probably gonna see next is uh, yesterday I did some uh, I did some driving around yesterday and I actually drove over to our uh, check out our natural our um, free ranging elk population in Pennsylvania. For those of you who don't know, we have elk in Pennsylvania. I think there's roughly 9,000 and they're free ranging. And uh, there's an elk zone and I'm roughly 35 minutes outside of the elk zone Which a lot of this is said in that video. I think I don't know I got a whole bunch of videos I got to piece together and see which ones are good. Some of them are real bad uh, GoPro didn't pick up the elk too good But <laughs> um, I definitely got some video of the elk Whoa Almost man dying I'm sure there's a lot of you people out there watching, especially my friends watching, just to see me get wet and fall in the creek here. But I appreciate you watching nonetheless, whether you're rooting for me to get a beaver or get hurt. But like I was saying, uh, I went over and checked out the elk yesterday and did a little hiking over there and looked for elk sheds, but um, I've seen some elk holding horns still, so um, I don't really know if that's all of them because I know there's more bucks than what I've seen. I mean, there was probably a good, I don't know, I want to say 60 elk in that herd I've seen. But I'm going to show you the video too. 
Got some tadpole spawn. But this is beautiful. I mean, I say it every day, but every day when I hike back here, I get rewarded. I really do. Whether I got a beaver or not. pretty good run coming through here which that trap would take care of it all right guys I'll get back to you and uh all right guys well come over here to try to see the elk and uh we got him guys there's some uh, PA's free and raging elk population that guy right there's a buck the one right in the middle of the frame right there I don't know if you can make out his antlers but he's uh, he's the only one with antlers I can see I don't know if they, the other ones dropped them or whatever they did but he's the only one I can see with headgear I really wish he'd pick his head up Pets. These are free and raging. Um, you can hunt them, tag only. Um, I never even apply for the tag because um, I don't know. They're a little too tame for me. I mean, it's cool to come see them, but um, if I wanted to shoot an elk, I'd go out to Colorado or somewhere. them I swapped the camera around so we get a little better of a peripheral view here but that's some of PA's wild uh wild elk right there as wild as they can they're gonna get they're sort of <laughs> sort of tame they're used to visitors a lot of people come here and spend a lot of money to look at these elk this whole town here is built around pretty much viewing the elk coming up. Uh, Benazet, Pennsylvania. They actually have a place, um, uh, elk. This really isn't a viewing area, but they have like three viewing areas the, the state does, and you can go to them. And then there's elk country. I don't even know what it is, but I think they charge you to park in there, and then they have a viewing area and stuff, so. But figured I'd share that with you guys and uh, I'm roughly about uh, I'm about an hour from my camp um, I'm about 35 minutes maybe 40 minutes from the elk range and uh, but they're always in this general area uh, if you drive around here in the evening or in the morning you're gonna see them in these pastures um, I want to say there's 9,000 of them or something like that that is the estimate they have and there is a season on them but it's permit only I, I think I said that in the last video but I'm not sure which video is gonna make it so if I'm repeating myself I'm sorry and there goes that buck right there he's the only one that I could see that has a decent rack on him 